Hello? Hey guys. All right, this is Bob Gross. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, we're here in my kitchen. No, I'm not cooking today, but I am going to show you what uh, plants I have growing inside on my windowsill, including that super sad uh, cilantro. So let's get started. All right, here I have my jalapeno. This is where all my jalapenos plants have started from. This is just the majority of these are start uh, store bought from Home Depot, but this is where my jalapeno plant outside started from. There was actually two plants in here when I got it from Home Depot. Uh, obviously, I picked it like that. So I took one out of the dirt. I planted in the hydroponics, and that one's grown out there. This one I just topped because he was super tall and uh, really lanky. So I topped him so he can uh, bifurcate, I believe, and uh, become a more bushy plant. I also just took the top of this and I have it sitting in some water so it can grow some roots. But uh, this is the first one. This is just the normal jalapeno. Here's another one. Uh, this is Bee Bomb. I didn't buy this. Um, my mom bought this. She said it was good for attracting bees, but we happen to be indoors. So I really don't know why this is growing on my windowsill. She told me that it's a type of type of mint. It's got a scent to it, but I mean, I wouldn't want to eat it. I don't think I'm, I don't know what this is. Maybe I should look it up, but it's, there's two of them actually here growing on the windowsill. And uh, these plants, we just put water on them every morning. You know, we, we look at the soil, if it's dry, we just add some water from, from the faucet. Let's move on. As you guys remember, maybe one of my last videos back there, this is my super sad uh, cilantro. And Everybody was complaining. They're like, oh, there's so many variables. Yeah, I understand that. But this is just hap what happens to be here inside my house. And it grows. And oh, it tastes like cilantro. It's just super small and yellowy. But um, again, this is where I germinated all my cilantro seeds indoors. There's like 40 plants in here. So at any moment, I could just take one of these out, place them in the hydroponic solution, and it'll grow into a big, beautiful Cilantro. So I just kind of leave these here. I keep it topped nice and short just in case I need a extra cilantro plant. We got some onion chives. Uh, as you can see, this is doing absolutely great. This is for mashed potatoes. <laughs> I needed chives for some mashed potatoes I was making for a, a potluck at work. And I could have just bought chives, but I'm not going to do that. So I just bought the plant instead. And uh, this is awesome. You just have it sit there. Not that I ever use chives to cook for anything, but it looks pretty and well, we got chives. So now my last and final one, uh, as you can already see, is a pretty big one. Uh, again, this is also store bought. So I don't know, maybe it was like a dollar or something like that at Home Depot. And this is my hot banana pepper. So let's see if we can just skip my actual fruit there. We have hot banana. So here it is. Uh, you can see some of the leaves are yellowing, but beyond the leaves, you can see what's going on. We have one crazy looking pepper there, super twisted up. We have a huge red hot banana pepper, right? And those suckers are hot. When they're, when they're green or yellow, they're not that bad, but when they're red, they're super hot. I found out the hard way. Uh, here's some two little guys again super beautiful they're changing colors and uh the leaves are yellowing i don't mind i'll just cut them off every now and then I, again i grab some nutrient solution from outside and just pour it into this bad boy and uh it wakes it right up this is always on my windowsill okay and it has four peppers there and i don't even know what to do with them but i would like to thank you guys for coming to the channel and checking out what I have indoors. Maybe I'll get some more in here, but we'll see from there. Remember, subscribe, like the video, check back later.